All right, folks, here's a video you've been waiting for. We're going to cook lionfish tonight. Lionfish, um, I guess I should have did some more research because I don't know where the hell they come from. All I know is they're invading the United States down around the Gulf Coast, Florida Keys, and that area there, and they're, they're voracious eaters. They're pushing out the native fish, so they're no good, but what they are good for is they're good to eat. Let me tell you, these things are all pretty badass. I mean, look at the fins and everything on these things, and it's crazy. Now, you see me messing with them fins, I want to tell you guys, this fish is poisonous. So, it's not poisonous to eat, but if you get stuck with one of these spines, uh, you're going to be you're going to be hurting. It's uh, there's no anti venom for it. Um, the only thing you can do is you can add heat. So I thought, well, I did a little research on that because as coordinated as I am and shit happens, I'd probably stick myself. And I thought, well, geez, I'll just pee on my hand or something, and that'll take care of it. But not the case. It has to be a lot hotter. So you'd have to get a towel hot and wrap it around and. I guess you're still going to be one hurting SOB, so we're going to try to be careful. In fact, we're going to cut them babies off. Um, but lucky enough, we uh, got two fish. And where did we get these from? We got these from ExoticMeats.com. And you guys are going to be hearing a lot from me about ExoticMeats.com because it's my new go-to place. And I'm going to start eating some wild and crazy stuff. So, again, ExoticMeats.com. Okay, let me tell you about this poison. The poison is in these... Uh, barbs, these real hard barbs. Um, and what happens is, when you step on them or something, you can see here it'll peel this skin down on this barb. And then there's valleys and, and ridges on this spine, and in the valleys is where the toxin is. And once that gets in you, you're going to be one sick son of a bitch. So we're going to try to avoid that, and uh, that'll be good. Another place that the, the barbs are, there's nothing here on the pectoral fin. It's this fin right down here below it has got a barb right there. That'll stick you. And then over here and by the anal fin has like three of them little bad boys right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut them off. Um, we're lucky enough we got two fish and that excites me because I wanted to really try how these fish taste. So I'm going to cook a couple different ways. We're going to take this little guy right here and we're going to cook him whole in the frying pan. Um, one side I'm going to season up, the other side I'm going to leave just plain because I want to see what it really, really tastes like without any seasoning. And this big guy right here, I'm going to fillet up, and we're going to pan fry one of the fillets, and then we're going to deep fry one of the other fillets. And you know what? I got a big meal plan for this. We got uh, all kinds of stuff we're going to cook, so this is going to be exciting. Let me uh, show you how we're going to cut these off right here while you're watching. I'm just going to take the scissors and whack it off just like that. And we're going to start down here at the bottom of this dorsal fin. And we're just going to cut these babies off. Um, I would recommend if you're a scared kind of guy. I, ooh, that was friggin' close. Maybe I should be wearing gloves. Oh, screw that. I don't guess if I get stuck, I get the whole experience. Melissa will probably not take care of me, though. She may say, I told you so. Okay, we got them. I think them things would be pretty like badass if we make a dart and go mouse hunting with them or something. So we got that one. Let's get this one. We got that one. And we'll get this one. So that's it. Now listen, you can freeze that and it won't affect the to it won't affect the toxins in it. You gotta heat it up. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with that. I throw it in the garbage, I'll probably stick myself in the leg or something, but but anyways, I'm not going to sit here and fillet and everything in front of you. I'm going to prepare these fish, get them ready. We're going to start the video again, show you what we're cooking. So go grab a beer. This is going to be fun. All right. I survived the lionfish cleaning. Um, one thing I found out is they say they come clean. They are gutted, but they're not scaled like all the way. It's just kind of a real rough job. And I suppose if you're a guy in a fish cleaning plant and they throw a lionfish in front of you and tell them to scale it, as soon as they turn your back, they're like, yeah, right. So, got that all cleaned, we're going to move on. Uh, one thing we're going to cook tonight with it is uh, french fries. So we got our big uh, cast iron Dutch oven here. We got oil in it. Got it all heated up. We're going to make some french fries. We'll get that cooking. Because them are going to take considerably longer than the fish. So, we got that going. Okay, here's what I did. 
I filleted this big one, big lionfish right here. I filleted one. I left the skin and everything on it. It's really white meat. Um, so I think it's going to be kind of, it's really going to pick up the flavor of anything you use to, to season it. Um, I think it's going to be flaky. We'll see. So I left the skin on that one. This one I'm just going to cook just the way it is because I really want to try to get the taste of a true lionfish. This one I skinned. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to chunk this one up. And this one we're going to deep fry. So we'll have a couple deep fried pieces. Then I have this little guy. And all I did with him is I scored him just like that. And then... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, again, we're going to season uh, season them up. This stuff right here, I'm going to cook in Zatarans. Um, this, I'm going to cook in Zatarans plus some seasoning. Just lightly season salt that. I'm going to rub that baby in so it gets in them little cook, cruts, cuts. And I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to put Mrs. Dash on it. I love Mrs. Dash. So we're going to do that. Then what we're going to do. So we're going to put them in there. All this is is egg right here. And then this is Zatarans. If you get Zatarans fish fry mix, that is the best. So, I got my Zatarans in a bag. I'm going to take and I'm going to just put this fish right here in the egg wash. And um, I don't know. I'm going to cook them with his head on. Kind of trout style just to see. Because there is two pieces of cheek meat there. Not very big. So we're gonna, we're gonna want to eat them. Now I'm gonna get him going in that, just like that. Now I'm gonna try to open the bag. There we go. All right. So that's what we got going there. So we're just gonna get him going in the oil, just like that. Oh yeah. Now let's do our fillet. This one we're just gonna plain, plain old cook. How do I want to do it? I think I'm going to do them skin down first. Oh yeah, he's curling up nicely. And then uh, we just got this that we're going to put in our egg wash. Just like that. Get it covered good. Drop it in our Zatarans. Just like that. Get her coated good. Man, this is going to be amazing, I bet. We're going to drop it in there with our french fries. Hopefully this all comes out about the same. I got uh, cornbread in the oven. Got to have cornbread with a fish fry. We are in Wisconsin. And then uh, we also got the can cooker ready to go. We got... Uh, Chocolate cake and brownies in the can cooker, and that'll be in a separate video, so you might want to check that out. But now we're just going to cook this up and pay attention. It's cooking up pretty nice. All right, it's getting, uh, it's getting, this filet here is getting, uh, it's cooking up really white. The meat's like turning white. That's pretty cool. We're, uh, flip it over there. Let's get this fish and probably flip him too. Oh, he's not quite golden brown yet. And we got our French fries and our other fish cooking over there. That's coming along good. We'll be back. All right, folks, here it is. Potatoes are still cooking. Got our cornbread. That's done. Um, in a minute here, we're gonna, me and Melissa are going to sit down and have supper together. But I want you guys to see me taste this right on camera so we know. First things first, from Wisconsin, it's like pan-fried bluegill. You got to eat the tail. Hmm. Perfect. All right beer
Now let's try this unseasoned filet right here. This is it. This is exactly, it's really white flaky meat. It's kind of like bluegill, um, but a lot bigger. Here it is, lionfish. Not like bluegill. A little hot. Um, not fishy. Different. It's like a walleye texture. Um, really, really good. Yeah, it's got a taste that's not... It's, it's amazing. It really is. It's not fishy. But it's like... Uh, kind of like a lobster type but not very strong like lobster hmm. has a taste all to itself it's amazing you can't uh, I cannot compare it to any other fish I've eaten and I've eaten dang near everything you can eat so it's just it's got a flavor all to itself um, I'm assuming that this deep fried piece that it's gonna really pick up the flavor of the Zatarans Very good. Very good, but dry. It's not a moist meat, it's dry. Let's try this right here off the bone with the skin. A little bit of a bone there, gonna have to be careful. Ooh, that baby's looking hot. Oh, mmm. By far the best way to cook it. It's freaking amazing. Oh, yeah. Watch the bones, though. All right. Cooking it whole, by far the best way to, to taste it. The fish has amazing, amazing meat. Yeah. Cook it whole, guys. That's the way to cook it. Mm. All right, guys. I had a couple more pieces, and now I, I want to describe it really what it is. This is the un... The uncooked or the unseasoned uh, stuff it's good it has a flavor that's very good but all to itself it's not exciting but it's good deep-fried is me and Melissa both agree it's neutral it's not it's neutral there's really no taste it's dry it's neutral the fish we cooked on the bone here that's freaking amazing. This right here is walk down to the dock and kick some old fisherman right square in the nuts good. Hmm. By far. If you eat lionfish, don't dick around. Cut the spines off, scale it, score it, cook it in a pan. Top notch right there. All right. We're going to enjoy our supper, and we'll get back to you with a can cooker cake video.